In this video, we're here in the rainforest looking for golden ants. Out here in the tropics, ants love to be gold, and so we're gonna look for all of them and show you these beautiful and amazing ants. So we have our first golden ant, this awesome Campanota cerissive entrus worker. All I'm gonna say, way bigger than I was expecting them to be. I love those propodial or pronotal spines that they have too. Super unlike a typical Campanotus. Super awesome. We got oh, one. Really we bad. got one. Campanotus cerisi ventris major. It's huge. Thing is ginormous. Way bigger than I was expecting. Imagine that thing with a full gaster too. Now all we've got to find is a queen. Dang. Check out this giant Neoponera. That I stepped on. That Mason stepped on. Thankfully she's okay. She built tough. Uh, she looks a little silver in this video, but she's actually quite golden in the sunlight. And she's huge, so let me... Like, very big and aggressive. Just a super beautiful ant. Really, really pretty. Let her go on her business. Get over being stepped on. She looks fine, so that's nice. Very cool. And this here, ginormous fallen tree. There's a big Cerisi ventris colony somewhere, but they're trailing all up and down it. These beautiful, beautiful golden ants. This is incredible. We've got a Campanota Cerisi ventris worker fighting an Ectotoma worker. That is crazy. Look at them. They're going at it. I don't even know who's winning. So this is amazing. We just found these two Neoponera queens. There's, I don't know what either of these species are, but one is huge and one is not as huge, but still a pretty big ant. Look at that. This one is way prettier too, the small one. She's like gold with orangish legs. This one is just jet black, but huge. Very, very cool. We found these by accident too. We came up here because we wanted to look at this Atta Mound. <laughs> and just these two Neoponera queens were running around, so that's cool. This is pretty awesome. We found this Neoponera, golden Neoponera queen wandering around. See the wing scars there. That's an incredible find. These golden Neoponera, I mean, we've got some of the, the small golden Neoponera, but this one is, I mean, it's just monster. Monster queen. On this here tree, we got tons of Campanotus cerisi ventris going crazy. This is by far the most we've seen. We usually only see a couple of these at a time, but the nest looks like it's probably way up there in the canopy. And they're trailing down here to come get, you know, resources and food from the, uh, the forest floor. We're gonna see ya. This is so weird. I'm sure that there's an explanation for this somewhere. But this Cerisi Ventures worker has no hair. I mean, there's a bit on the gaster, but clearly she is lacking all of the pretty gold pubescence that the species is known for. But it's got to still be Cerisi Ventures because of those big spines on the pronotum. That's just crazy. I've, I've never heard of that being a thing. Don't know why she's bald, but yeah. So here on this palm leaf is the beginnings of a woven dolichoderous nest. Just a satellite that they're creating, and of course we've made them all mad, so now they're trailing up and down there. No brood or queen or anything in there yet, but they're just starting to weave this, uh, this new nest on the bottom of this palm frond. Pretty cool. So, it's mostly termites tonight, but we did get this Campanotus cerisi ventris male. You may be able to notice a little bit of the gold pilosity, and he is quite massive for a Campanotus male, or well, for a male in general. 
but there, especially there, you can see some of that nice gold. So this is definitely a Cerisi Ventress male, which means we're going to go ahead and walk around and look for some queens. See if we can find them, because clearly they're flying. We got another one of these giant golden Neoponera workers. These things are so pretty. And of course they're massive. These are in the Viosa group, but a lot bigger than the true Viosa that are in Texas. And, and they're here too, but this is uh, clearly not those, because it is ginormous. This worker's probably 18 millimeters. Very crazy. Just another beautiful golden ant that's out here in the jungle. All right, we just caught another golden Neoponera queen. That is so exciting. Right. I used the cotton to catch her and she actually stung me on the tip of my finger. Thankfully, I don't think she got me very good. It's not that painful, but look at her. And she still has a, a little bit of a wing fragment, so she's probably a, a pretty newly mated queen. That is so cool. She is very unhappy about her living situation, but um, she'll figure it out. <laughs> These dolly coders are so stunning. Those reddish orange legs, golden hairs, the spines and the petiole and the thorax. Just such a good looking ant. Don't you agree? Check this out, this Dolicoderus colony is just going crazy. I don't know what they're doing, but these beautiful golden Dolicoderus are having a freak out. <laughs> they are just all over the place. And they actually, they even go up this pole, you might be able to see some of them over there. Really, really Because cool. these Cerisi Ventress Majors are huge. Look at the size of that dang thing. Absolutely chowing down on his finger. You doing okay? No. No? <laughs> I didn't think so. Ow, that one hurt. <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the golden ants that I managed to find down here in the tropics. Where I live in Arizona, we have almost no ants. In fact, I don't think we have any ants that are quite as showy golden like this. And so getting to see these crazy, you know, beautiful golden ants in the tropics was, was really special. So thank you for coming along with me and watching and have a good one.